Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here again. Annie, I have another Canvas question for you. And this one has to do with the way I display grades to my students throughout the quarter. So we've talked a lot about different gradebook columns and settings, it's been very helpful. Inevitably, throughout a quarter, I will get questions, regardless of what's in the syllabus or where I have the information on the Canvas or iLearn page, about my grade scale and what the percentage earned in the class corresponds to in terms of a letter grade. So is there an easy way to have Canvas show students their letter grade in the class instead of running total percentage? And can I retain that when I go to export my gradebook at the end of the quarter and finalize grades to submit to the registrar? Yes, absolutely. This is actually a newer feature that UCR enabled for us just a week or so ago, actually. So this is brand new, hot off the presses stuff, if you're watching this on the date we upload it. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So in your sandbox page, as always, you would think this might be in the gradebook setting, but in fact, it is not. It is once again in the course settings down here at the bottom. So go ahead and click on that and then scroll pretty much to the bottom of the course to this little area called grading scheme right here. And you can see this box that has now become available for us. And you click that to enable course grading scheme. And then you get the ability to set the grading scheme to whatever you want and whatever you've told students in the syllabus. So if you click that, then you can see there is a pre-programmed you know, grading scheme here with 100 to you know anything uh, uh, to a 94, right, that's going to be an A and so on. But if you are different than that in the syllabus, you can select another grading scheme, or I think you can even just edit this one directly and change it to whatever you want. So, you know, if an A is to a 92 in your class, and you can even, you know, change the letter grades to be kind of beyond the scope of what we might think of as traditional cutoffs, like 90 for an A, you can bring it down or raise it as you see fit, and then go ahead and save those cutoffs and then hit done. So now you have your particular grading scheme built into Canvas. And then what you can do after you update, don't forget to save at the bottom of the page. Um, when you go into your students' grades, you will now see the letter grade that they have printed um, next to their percentage total. So now it's translating for them automatically. And this letter grade gets preserved actually when you uh, export the grades. So, you know, end of the quarter, you're ready to submit to the registrar. If you export the grades and you have this grading scheme enabled, uh, the output will have some additional columns at the end in addition to total score in the class, it will have total grade in the class, and that's where the letter grade will be. So you don't have to do any Excel calculations to get it to print the letter grades. You can just copy that exact column, match it up to the student's ID number or net ID, and upload it to the registrar as always. That's gonna be really helpful, thank you. You are welcome.